Hello everyone, I'm Vibhor and in this short tutorial I'm going to walk you through the installation of Mule server standalone on on premises and uh, we would also be installing the Mule management console on top of it. So let's get started. So the first step which you need to do is you need to install the download the Mule management console distribution mule console bundle 3.7.0 from mule website and unzip it in a particular folder in your system now if you are on a windows system you need to click on the startup.bat script and if you are in a linux based system you need to start the startup.sh script so let's go ahead and click on the startup.bat script So as we know that the mule is based on uh, top of the Apache Tomcat server. So the first thing it would do is it would start the Apache Tomcat server and then it would load the MMC var file on top of it. So just wait, let's wait for some time so that the Apache Tomcat server starts and our var file gets loaded. It's giving us the message waiting to start. So after waiting for some time, as you can see in the console message, our mule management server had started on localhost and port is 8585 and the deployment name is MMC-3.7.0. Uh, if you want, you can remove the version number so that the URL would be easy. So I'll go ahead and open the browser. I'll be putting this URL. And our power file got deployed. So just use the default credentials of admin. And the password is also admin by default. Click on login. your management console is really user friendly and you can see a lot of options there in the tabs you can see the dashboard uh, where you'll have the option to register your servers and you can create the deployments you can create the alerts uh, you can manage the users and permissions or you can see the full documentation so if you click on the servers you'll have the registered servers with your uh, address in the port you will go to deployment you will see all the deployments you we'll click on the applications tab you will have the applications which you have deployed you can see the flows You can open the flow analyzer to see the number of instances passing through your flow or you could use the business events which you could specify in your mule flow during the development time and you can track those events here you can configure alerts which would be displayed here such as the critical sla alerts and all you can do the administrative tasks directly from here like creating of the users the users group the account permissions you can check the logs you can see the schedulers you can do the flow analysis so that's all for today's tutorial thank you everyone for listening